Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Evan Better Presents, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to get shaders into your game. A few of you have been asking me in the comments about how I ended up putting these shaders into my game to get water that looks like this, and an environment that has this. Well, I'm going to show you. Alrighty, so I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step exactly how you do it. So I'm using Sonic Ether's uh, Unbelievable Shaders for 1.7.10 in my playthrough. So you're going to find that, go into Google and just type in Sonic Ether's Shaders 1.7.10 like I have here, okay? It's going to be this one here at the 9minecraft.net. So click on this son of a gun here. It's going to bring you up to the Sonic Ether's page. And uh, if you scroll down, you're going to read, it, this actually gives you more or less a step-by-step. -step. This is how I figured out how to do it, but I will show you guys exactly how to do it. All right, so what we need to use to get this uh, shader pack working is we need to have the GLSL shaders mod. All right, so if you just scroll down the page a little bit here, you can see this is how to install Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shader Mod. So first things first is we need to get the GLSL shader mod. All right, so we're going to click on that, and that's going to bring us over to the GLSL shaders mod uh, page. Now make sure you just now make sure you guys are downloading this for what you're using. Now I use I'm playing in Direwolf 20, so I'm going to be making sure that I'm only getting for 1.7.10. They do have 1.8 available though. All right, now there's two ways you can do this. If you're doing Minecraft Forge, which uh, Direwolf 20 does use, you can just go with the Minecraft Forge version. Okay, so here we go. It's going to give you a step by step. Now since we're since I'm using Direwolf 20's launcher, I'm not going to be going through app data because that's not where mine mine is listed, right? But what I am going to do is I'm going to download it right here, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to download this one here, okay? 1.7.10. So I'm going to download that. All right, so now I've got this shaders mod jar file. You guys should all be familiar with what these are. Show in folder. All right. And that's going to bring it up in our folder, our downloads folder, okay? Which you guys can see right here. So there it is. There's my downloads folder. All right. So I'm going to take this here and I'm going to be sticking it into my, into my um, mods folder. All right. As I said, I'm using Direwolf 20's mod pack. All right, so I'm gonna go find. I'm gonna find that now. The best, the fastest way to find Direwolf 20's mod pack is, of course, by simply going into your game, going resource packs, and open resource pack folder. There it is. All right. Now the reason I, that that is fast is because it brings you exactly to the right directories. Okay. Now we need to put that mod, that mod pack into our Direwolf 20 mods, okay? All right, so as I said, I'm using the Feed the Beast launcher, so I'm gonna bring it up here, Feed the Beast, Direwolf 20, all right? I wanna go to Minecraft, and then I wanna go down and find mods, all right? This folder should exist. If you're not using any, well, no, it should exist, because if you're using Direwolf 20, this is how you're gonna, this is what's gonna be in here, okay? And then we're gonna take that file that I just had, the GL, uh, shaders mod. I'm going to drop it inside of here, which I've already done, which you can see here. So it's now shader mod core. Ta da! Okay, so that's going to allow you to be able to actually run shaders in your game. Okay, the next thing after you've got the GL shaders mod installed in your mods, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to add a shaders pack folder to your Minecraft Direwolf directory. Okay, you can see at the top here the path that I had to do. And we're going to add a, this folder here, shaders pack. All right, and inside of shaders pack is where we're going to put our shaders. So now we're heading back to Sonic Ethers page, all right? So that we've already downloaded this one, the GLSL shaders mod, and put that in our mod pack, all right? Next thing we want to do is ignore that for a second. But all, all the steps are right here, guys, if you get lost at all, all right? The next thing we want to do is we want to download one of Sonic Ethers shaders pack, okay? I would 
recommend if your system isn't very good sticking well christ if, if your system's not very good you shouldn't be putting these on your system at all it's going to i would recommend at least eight gigs of ram and an i5 or better uh second generation i5 or better processor or, or the amd equivalent because honestly god this guys this stuff is kicking my computer's ass also your graphics card better have some balls because it's not going to be able to handle this otherwise trust me so choose either standard which is, I'm sure is going to be very nice. Ultra, which is an upgraded version of the standard. I'm using Ultra with depth of field, which gives you that blurry thing when you're looking at a close object and everything in the background comes blur. All right. And uh, I'm sure Ultra Motion Blur is all the benefits of these two together. Plus, you're going to get motion blur when you look quickly. I don't like that, so I didn't want to go for it. Anyways, you're going to download the one you want to do. All right. Once again, I'm going to click download. Da, 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 da. Okay, once that is finished downloading, we're going to take the zip file and we're going to put it in our uh, shader pack. All right, so we're going to open this up. We're going to paste it into this folder here, and this is what it should look like, okay? Once again, see this directory. All right, Minecraft, shader packs. We, we dump our Sonic Ethers shader pack in here. Now, remember, some of this stuff might look a little different. It, it constantly does update. All right, but this is what, how it should be, basically. Okay, now you need to launch. You make, make sure this is closed at some point, because now you need to launch Direwolf 20 in the launcher again, okay? And we know how long this takes, so I'll be right back. Okay. Now, to find out if everything worked out well, you're going to go on and go into Options. If you don't see this button right here that says Shaders, then you need to go back through and put in, you need to redo the step where you put in the GLSL Shaders mod. All right? Because that what that mod does is it allows shaders to work in the game. So once you have this button showing up, then everything's going to work out fine. So you're just going to click on this button. It's going to bring up your options of shaders. Okay, you can use Sonic Ethers version. All right. Now there's something else over here you need to do. You need to turn off old lighting and tweak block damage on. I also recommend turning off cloud shadows. It's kind of annoying when they put these weird... You can see them in the first couple episodes of my playthrough. There's these weird shadows everywhere. You can also adjust some of the stuff that you're going to be dealing with here, okay? Such as like the depth of field and what have you. All right, if you need to make sure where the shader pack is, of course, there is an open shaders folder right there. So once again, if you don't see this, repeat the first couple of steps there where you have to, in you have to install that GL shaders mod and, and what have you, okay? And then, boom, you can get a world that looks as beautiful as this. Here we are. Now, just remember, this is incredibly resource intensive on system. It's going to tax your system really, really heavily. So I do recommend having a good system. My system, I'll be honest with you, not up to par. It is not able to handle this uh, properly. That's why my frame rate is crap. Well, right now, when, whenever it's loading, it's always crap. That's just going to happen. But I really, really highly recommend you have a system with some, with some oomph if you're going to be doing this. And then you get to enjoy the absolute gorgeousness which is what this game looks like. And I'll turn I'll, let's turn it off for a second and you can see what it looks like without it. Regular Minecraft. It's just super underwhelming, isn't it? Look how plain it is. Hideous even. And you can do this on the fly at any point, guys. There you go. That's the difference. So I hope this was helpful. I know it wasn't the easiest thing to understand, but uh, I really do highly recommend checking out the Sonic Ethers page. Like I said, there is a step-by-step -step of what you need to do. I hope this visual guide will give you at least a little bit more assistance with that. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them in the question comment section. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this by clicking that like button and uh, make sure you guys are watching my series where we go through and uh, we, we're dealing with all this awesome stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode of Evan Better Presents.